welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a DIY for you. It is so easy and so inexpensive um, that I wanted to share it with you in case maybe you'd like to make some too. Um, it does, I hesitate to say it requires a sewing machine, but I'm using my sewing machine. Um, if you don't have a sewing machine, I guess you could hand sew it and possibly maybe hot glue. I'm not sure how that would bear out. You decide for yourself if you think that would work. But I'm going to show you what we're making and then I'm going to show you how we're doing it. So I bought at the Dollar Tree some towels. I just love them and I made a stove hanger towel. I don't know what they're called. I'm sure there's a name for it. I'm not sure. but. The towels hang on your stove and like I said I sewed them together so it is a permanent thing and you can use them to dry your hands or whatever and then wash them it's totally washable um, I have not washed these Dollar Tree towels so I'm not gonna be a hundred percent sure how they'll hold up but I wanted to make a Dollar Tree DIY so this is what we're using if you think you want to gift it or use um, you know different quality of towels i know walmart sells very nice cute hand towels at a very reasonable price but for what we're doing here today um i purchased the hot pad holders and these come in a two pack for a dollar now i will tell you be careful this one's ripped i'm not sure if you'll be able to see it it came with a hole in it now i can put that on the inside that's fine but just be aware when you're looking so I purchased them in red I purchased them in this teal color um, I know they had gray and I got black and then I'll show you the lemon ones that's ones that we're gonna sew on but I bought two packs of these so that's we're gonna make let's say we make two it would cost a dollar for the two pack and then the hand towels are a dollar a piece so you would get for three dollars two of these and I think these are fun I love them I love having them hang on my stove you could personalize this um, this one happens to say a hot fresh coffee is the best way to start the day that's very appropriate in my life and I love that at the Dollar Tree you can get the coordinating hot pad holders and towels because they seem to be doing that and I have a couple other ones I will show you so materials a towel I got this rooster this one says farm fresh now I happened to have bought this last year at Christmas time so this is something they keep on hand um, the the big deal is when you sew it in half you want it to be upright sometimes towels are like weird directions you just want to make sure because you're gonna you're gonna sew it glue it stitch it just like this so a towel a two pack of your hot pad holders and depending on where your loop is will depend on where you fold so and I will show you that when I turn the camera around um, I happen to have I have two jars this jar and I have another one of just random buttons so that's what I use were my buttons buttons uh, a needle and thread thread for the sewing machine but a needle and thread to sew your button on a pin cushion because it's cute looks like my cats you know um, and that's it that's all of your supplies that you're gonna need now I know also that the Dollar Tree sells buttons um, you want to look to make sure you want a decent size like one inch button so I have these these are just randoms that I had and I think it's fun to use old ones too so yeah you you'd want a one inch just because it's this is a pretty decent size loop now let's say you have smaller buttons you want to use you can totally cut this loop off and sew on a different loop sew on your own loop glue on your own loop velcro it it could be two pieces of velcro in the corner here take the loop off all together if you don't want to deal with buttons put some and they sell velcro at the Dollar Tree you could glue it or stitch it here in each corner the little circles and then it would hold onto your stove like that I'm just using what's available to me this is not my unique creation. I searched Pinterest like most of my crafts and I kind of made it my own. So um, take it for what it's worth. I didn't 
find a video and copy it but I did watch lots of videos and I was on Pinterest looking for ideas because I love these towels these um, stove towels so take it for what it's worth these are the ones I purchased these towels now the other towels you can get are from the bathroom section just a plain towels um, and they have the printed ones now you could use although they're kind of bathroom themed except for the tranquil um, but these I got in the um, originally in the with the bath stuff because I wanted to do the lemons and they didn't have a towel I don't like those microfibers so I wanted the at least cotton blend and I believe these bathroom ones are 100% cotton they're not great again but they are great for the kitchen. I use them to dry my hands while I'm cooking on the stove. You know, just reach down and have a nice towel and then I can launder. So, the ones we're going to sew on are the lemons. Here are the materials again. A hand towel, a kitchen towel, a some type of small towel. And pot holders, which you can get anywhere. These come in two packs for a dollar. Even if you want to buy a better quality towel, if you were going to gift it, although I will tell you, these farm fresh ones are not bad. Um, you could buy your pot holders at the Dollar Tree because they don't need to, to deal with warmth. You're just using them to hold the towel on the stove if you have a handle on your stove. Um, another place to hang these, not this style, but a different style would be on your refrigerator, but I digress. Let me change camera positions and I'm going to show you exactly what I do. So easy, so silly. Oh, you need an iron. I guess you don't have to have an iron. I used an iron. I iron everything though. So give me one second. One. Now the first thing I did is I laid, went on my ironing board and I laid out the towel this way. And I could see that it's not quite wide enough you can't see there we go it's not quite wide enough here to reach and you don't have to do this um, I just wanted it to go from end to end so I opened it up ironed it flat and then I refolded it and obviously if you're a sewing person you, this is nothing new to you um, if you were hot gluing this, and again, I'm not sure how that would work, but hey, try it. Um, I laid it out until I measured it up that it laid across and matched like that. And we'll give this a little bit over. Okay. Now I pressed it and then I flipped it over just to make sure on this one that the words were centered. But again, that's my particular crazy. Not everybody is afflicted with that. So I have it all here, it's all pressed out. We'll just pretend it's all pressed out. If you were going to glue this with like hot glue or fabric glue, um, what I would start with then is your halfway point, fold it in half, iron it flat, open it back up. Now you've got your line with the iron and then take the hot glue and glue it here and here and hold it down that way. So you've, you've glued the towel to itself and let that cool completely. Fabric or hot glue. You're going to want to um, first start with gluing this. When we are making it with a sewing machine, you can go through and sew your halfway. I don't, um, but you could. Now, I also used real scissors, but I removed this tag because I found it annoying. And you want to say, okay, this loop needs to be at the top or bottom. You don't want it over here. It won't hang properly. I folded this in half and I ironed it a little bit so that I would get my crease here. And then I laid my seams to match. I took some pins and I just pinned it. Um together this is the inside so when it folds up oh I lie once it's all done you'll flip it over you want right sides together so this is the right side and this is the right side so then you lay it here 
everything is where it needs to be. You'd throw your pins in it. Where'd my other pin go? Here it is. We don't want to step on pins in the craft room. I keep very close tabs on these things with two cats and me walking around with no shoes on. No, thank you. So there. When this is done, this will fold up and this will hang down this way. And that's why I like to line it up because of the words. But we're not going to use this one. Um, what I did is I went through, and coffee today, by the way, is French vanilla. I went through and pinned everybody first. I'm going to see if I can't get you a better view here. I don't know if I can. What do you think, guys? Can you see it? I hope you're able to see this. Now I'm sewing, I'm choosing to sew on the side of this fabric, of the towel, and I'm putting this seam towards me, so it would open up this way. When you're sewing, if you don't, you're going to get some buckling here. I'm going to come up here and verify again where my halfway mark is, and you can see that iron mark is still there. So, and I'm only doing a straight line, so I'm not too concerned, and I'm sorry for the volume here in a second. Um, I will call what's locking my stitch, means you bring it forward and back. So forward and back, and now forward again, and then you want to get these pins out of here. I do not recommend sewing over your pins. Some people do, and that's, you know, that's you. I have one too many times hit my pin and ended up breaking a needle. This is it. It's seriously straight line sewing. This will be a great project to do with a young person that wants to learn how to sew. That super fast would have a project. Now, if you can see, it's pushing it a little bit over towards this side, the fabric. I just kind of buckled it up here. Um, there we go. Just so it doesn't pop out that end. And then I'm going to finish it. And if you noticed, I'm using cream colored thread. It doesn't matter, you're not gonna see it. The thread is literally on the inside. And we're gonna do this one more time. But, look at that. Now we have my lemon, oh, I love this lemon. I really wish I could have found a lemon yellow matching, like nicer towel, but they didn't have it, which is fine. And then this is just an old-fashioned button that somebody had given to me. And honestly, it doesn't matter. It just needs to hold the loop. So you want it enough size, three quarters an inch to an inch size button. And that will hang on my stove and my hands will tie here. And when I'm done, I'll hang them on the stove and show you what it looks like. But let's do one more. Um, yeah, I think this would be a perfect, even like for Christmas gifting, for a young person, you know, that really wants to create something for a gift for a family members, that you don't have to really invest a lot of money in, that they would see a finished product like now. You know, it's so, it's that easy. You're just buying some process, product that's already finished and you're putting it together. And I think... On this one, I got smart and put the pin where the halfway mark was. Because, you know, it takes me a while, apparently. But, yeah, I think this would be perfect for that young person um, that would like to do a project for a gift. You know, grandma, grandparents. When you're seriously sewing a straight line. And it's good lesson to learn as well. In sewing okay and again down here I just have to kind of crumple it up a little bit and that's it we just made two hand towels kitchen towels Ooh. and it's done it's that simple Ooh. so I I watched my halfway mark and it was wrong I'll take this one apart and resew it, but yeah, that is it. 
Now I will meet you downstairs in my kitchen and hang these on the stove. And here's the finished product. I love them. The lemon is my favorite because I love the lemons and it matches my kitchen, but I think they're all great. And actually the rooster is pretty fun too, especially if you have somebody with a farm kitchen theme or you have a farm kitchen theme, I think that will be perfect. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.